What is up guys? Nel Komal here. Doing another episode. Now we're gonna go for Bonnie. Yay! Let's go. Alright, we're gonna go Bonnie in the last episode. Shelly. Let's go. There we go. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You are so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Oh. Or lobster claws for hands? Lobster claws for hands. Are the claws lobster size or human size? Human size? Can make this easy on you. Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Lobster claws. Weirdo. Think of all the crazy stuff you could grab. What I'm saying is, good luck finding a man if you have lobster hands. Good thing I'm not looking for one, then. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. You know, you're not perfect either, Mr. Lobster Hands. Maybe I should spend a minute listing off your flaws. See how you like it. Me? I ain't perfect. That's right. And you're older than dirt. Look, as long as you stay off that stuff, you can have all the flaws you want. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You gotta worry. You know that, right? Slow down, Leland. Bonnie, uh... Leland? Bonnie? B. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, um, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters. Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. Well, no, that ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you didn't. I am a catch. Oh, now I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. Does she think we... So, where'd you get the bag, Dee? Dee? Dee, did you hear me? What's in the bag, D? I told you, it's a surprise. Oh, shit. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Quit being so cagey about it. Me? Cagey? You two are the ones being cagey. Calm down, D. Just tell us where you found the bag. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. <clears throat> now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. 
Damn it. You are the one who made me stop. Damn it. Regardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing in I'm this goddamn rain. I'm going to here in, in a minute. goddamn middle of nowhere you place. You listen to me now. I have had it up to I here with listening to you. It's a blasphemy. Um, Leland, that's enough. It's obvious you can't win this one, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to help, but let me handle this, all right? Thank you, Bonnie. Finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry. We're darling. Uh oh. D, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours too. D, now's not the time. <laughs> Never issues. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Bonnie. Go to hell, Bonnie. This is the thanks I get after what we did for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh god, run, come on, we gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh shit. Stop going so fast! I'm falling back here! Oh. Carajo. Carajo. Hey, Layla. Through here. Look. the hell there we go I think she hit Bonnie B B Bonnie Never trusted you. 
Just a junkie. <laughs> she, she did this to me. I, I didn't mean to do this, D. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I've I seen him look at you. I... I... No, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't. Thank you. Had the stones. Leland is just a friend. I didn't mean to do this, D. I swear to God. You fucking junkie. Right out. Can't be far. D. D. Did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? God, what happened? Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. Darling, what happened to you? Your face, her face, body. It doesn't matter now, Leland. She's dead. We've got to move on. We can't stay here. I know, but just give me a minute. Tell me what happened. She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. You did this? You did this to my D? I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Levin. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, I no, feel sick. Which way? There! Sorry to do this to you, darling. Leave you here. Call out if you this see way. Him. Leland, you have to let her go. I think I saw something over here. We can't take her with us. If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving behind. All right, this is very emotional. Damn. Anyway, guys, we're going to go to the last one. I think we're going to include it in this episode because I don't really want to just shut it off and <sighs> go back. So let's include the Shelly one in this episode. Let's start it. Oh, look, they set up a stronghold. Nice. Oh, Shell. Shell. Huh? That's Shelly. Good teacher stuff. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I want her to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times. And she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Damn. Thanks, Stephanie. Now kiss each other. Kiss each other! Thanks. Hey. 
Rebecca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe, that's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. <laughs> Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Oh, look at all them nice guns. Flashlights? Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best. It's really not. It's better than the alternative. I'd rather she have a shorter, happy experience in this world than one full of fear and death and horror. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that, Winnie? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. I'm... This guy doesn't have his gun anymore. Oh, God. Oh, damn it, it's the old lady. Ugh. You don't get all pissed off. You just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... Well, and now it's gone. 
That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? Damn it. I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. What happened now? This mine. This can't be dead. Jesus. Largan. My God. Largan. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. They got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. And send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. We can find a way for him to help. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. And the last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Oh, shit. Stop trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. Oh shit, it's the cancer agree. survivors. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ, are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, boy, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? I don't mean. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us, that isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, we'll give him some food. When? Three or four we'll cans. Right just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today.
Alright, I think this is the end. 259 days in. Let's see. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time... Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, you come out to talk to support him. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. What was that all about? Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing. And then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good. You're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Now she's a risk. Do you know where she was going? What her plans were? No. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine in it. Damn it. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. We give her a second chance. She might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up.
Oh shit, I got an important decision here. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? <laughs> It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Gun's over there in the drawer. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell. Time. Uh, damn it! Fuck it. Let's go. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down. Get safe. Shell! Hey! Shell! Be safe, though. All right. 400 days in, let's see how everything ended. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive. Well, they're going to be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. I wonder if you use a black girl in the next game. I'm gonna try and rescue these guys, like for a few episodes and then get Clementine and the others back for a few other episodes. Let's see. I found them. Holy shit. Good job. Everything okay? So far so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey, don't spit. Don't fucking move. Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, 
clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. What? Bonnie got... Danny got killed? Let's just look at the other one, then. survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Quiet. Look, we need people. Plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. Following her, that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust him. Of course you don't wrestle. You don't trust anyone. I'm not lying to you. How do we know that? You don't. You don't have to come, but we'd be happy to have you. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. If we wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I had a gun and snuck right up. Well, what's stopping you? Exactly. Nothing. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? I wonder if Lily made it out. Yeah, I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. But is it really worth getting a hope of? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. We have people of all ages in our colony. Teenagers, whole families. It's a chance to reconnect with people the way you used to. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. All right, let's see here. Whose foot did you shoot off? You and 70 players shot off Justin's foot. Damn. Stay or go. Did you stay in the car or get out? You and 50 of players stood in the car. Wow. Did you leave Nate or stay with him? You and 75 of players left Nate. Liar. Did you left? Did you lie, Leland? You and 25 of players were honest. Diantre. So many liars in this game. Killed Stephanie. Did you leave? 
Is you leaving the RB or kill Stephanie? You and 75 of players left in the RB. Wow, good people. Wow, I, this is there's a lot of liars. <laughs> that lied to Leland. Damn. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's see. Only three of them actually left with Tavia. And only two actually stayed in the camp. Alright, this was awesome, guys. An awesome DLC, mind you. Um, gets me actually more excited for Walking Dead Season 2, which is actually... comes out this fall. I really want to know if they'll charge you per episode, or if they're going to charge you for the entire game. Me, honestly, just charge me once and just let me download my episodes. Damn, this has actually been awesome. Good DLC, guys. Anyway, as always, comment, like, subscribe if you actually like this. Oh yeah, uh, so now that we finished the DLC, tell me what games you really want me to actually play in this channel. This is Nelkomal, signing off.